Is that me? Or is she getting more talkative in her videos? Good morning. Hey everyone, this is Sophia and today we are here with another workout challenge. This time I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. So it's been like definitely six months since I lost it, a Pamela Reef workout. But for a while now, because I think I'm subscribed to her on YouTube or YouTube shows me. Or YouTube shows me like her posts. I've seen that she does like weekly workout schedules. I tried to look for them like on her website or whatever, but she only posts them on Instagram stories. So that's what we're doing. I believe she posts them every Sunday night. So for this month, I'm just going to be doing her workout schedules from Instagram stories. I will leave the schedule I'm doing on the screen and I'll find a way to like include it in like a Google Doc or something so you can find it in the description box. But yeah, I mean, I really just chose one. What's cool is when I was doing my research on this, she has like different workout schedules for different fitness levels, which was great. Like she had a, I think 30 minute beginner, she had a dance version, and then she had like a 45 slow and 45 sweaty. I think there was four versions. And I don't know why, but my Sunday night brain was like, okay, let's do the 45 sweaty version for a month. So that's what we're doing. I'm nervous because I haven't done her workouts in a while. And I don't quite know if I have the stamina, like the endurance for it. The last time I did her workouts, it was because I had been doing like Chloe Ting for a really long time. And I felt like her workouts were getting a little easy for me. I don't have that feeling and I just finished a Chloe Ting workout. So we're going to see if this is going to make or break me, I guess. <laughs> Oh, and as usual, if you are new to this type of video that I do or just new to me or the channel or whatever, I am not doing this to lose weight. I am purely just doing this to satisfy my personal curiosity. Um, I really enjoy working out during quarantine. It's like a good way to kind of expel any like stress and it's always the like best way for me to start my day and it also helps me sleep at night. So. I'm not doing it to lose weight, I'm just literally doing this for my mental health and just to see if my body can become physically stronger. Oh, and yeah, I'm not combining this with any sort of a diet because like I said, I'm not trying to do this to lose weight. And now let's get started because if I don't get started now, I might give up. <laughs> that's a mood, you guys, that's a, that's a mood. So deep in the sand, when I met you didn't have plans, but I stayed with I really love that her workouts just get into it. It's great. You would definitely be sweating, but not profusely, or like when you're doing heavy cardio. Kind of more like a slow burn because of muscle work. However, I will say some days you are sweating a lot, but I will say maybe 70% of the time you're kind of slightly sweating at the end of it, even though you've been working out for 45 minutes. I really cannot do this. This is actually my favorite workout of hers. I, I'm pretty sure I did a review of it, but it's her 10 minute toned arm workout with water bottles, which I actually just use weights. But it is a hard workout, and I don't know if my arms are strong enough. So we'll see. Now I don't want to miss up, I don't want to lose all this. I ain't afraid to say I love you, baby. I ain't afraid to say that I too bad. I definitely need to take more breaks for the ab workouts because I'm not gonna lie, I have gained some weight so I feel like my ab strength is not as strong as it was maybe like six months ago. I'm good. And I actually have 20 minutes before work so I'm gonna go clean my desk. <laughs> Is she able to lift her legs so high? My butt is already sore. I'm gonna 
gonna use my 15 pound dead weights. with sore triceps would be sore even with a slight flex or movement stretches definitely made me feel the soreness more i am kind of tired <laughs> so i didn't sleep well last night but we're gonna get started because i'm kind of excited about this i'm not a huge fan i think of how last minute i have to make everything be but i do like that every week is different and you're doing different workouts I'm afraid to, I'm afraid to fall Lying down because I literally don't want to get up Oh my god Honestly, I really do like her workouts But I forget how hard they are because there are no breaks Happy Monday to me. Sometimes, and this is something that I've noticed with her other workouts as well, I wish she included the next workout on screen and not just through words on the top because I've noticed that her naming system is very different from other influencers. Except for like the basic ones like squats and push-ups. Everyone names things differently on the internet so that's fine, but it does get very annoying when I have to spend the first few seconds of the next workout trying to figure out what she means and what I should be doing. Guys, that stretch is killer. But I think I'm actually gonna try to do that every day for the Justice Challenge. Because I really wanna be able to do it. So yesterday I did my stretches, but turns out they were meant for today. <laughs> which basically tells you all you need to know about how my week is going. So I'm gonna do Wednesday's workout schedule today. And the only reason why I actually realized I did it wrong was because on the Friday schedule, there's supposed to be a new thigh workout. And I was on her YouTube page and I was like, where is it? And then I went on her Instagram stories cause she's pretty active on there. And it turns out she did the exact same thing, but on purpose, so she did her Thursday stretches on Wednesday as well, which is totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not faulting myself for it. I'm just being honest with you guys. I'm actually really excited for this. I don't know why. Any upper body with weights gets me really excited. Okay, let's start. I do love that her workout challenges incorporate more weights, so it is a slow burn. I think this is definitely something that other fitness influencers have realized is that people, especially as quarantine keeps going on, really want workouts outside of just using their body weight like they want more of a tone as opposed to fat loss which is typically what cardio does but i do love that you know maybe every other workout or every second workout she will include like a day with mostly weights which is great and i do notice that in some of her workouts when she includes weights she actually is more talkative or she is talking don't get me wrong, she definitely has weighted workouts where it's just music playing in the background and like she's not saying a word. But usually those workouts include more basic movements. My arm is literally not long enough for me to hold it, anything up. Like my butt is just touching the ground. looking for a shortcut, does it get easier? Cause I'm trying not to- That was the weirdest ab workout ever. Some of her workouts include a beginner-friendly version of the movement, but not often. This has only happened a handful of times, so it's rare, but it's great. But at the same time, because it doesn't happen often, you don't get the option to use the beginner-friendly version that often. So, I ain't afraid to say I love you. embarrassed for me yet? I'm such a bad dancer. I have 
one more workout to go and this is her new workout of the week. I'm a little nervous because my butt is already so sore from the first two workouts. Is it me or is she getting more talkative in her videos? I do really like that she does include two rest days, but one rest day is stretches. So you're kind of resting, kind of not, but you're still moving your body and making sure that your body isn't stiffening up. And we're done. I'm kind of thinking about doing this for another month. Just because I'm a little lazy to find a different workout to do. six minutes it is such a killer oh, I really didn't expect to be sweating this much and I had wiped off quite a bit this is insane so that is it I honestly thoroughly enjoyed this process it was more pleasantly fun than I anticipated I think I would definitely be doing this again honestly for maybe when I just finished a workout challenge and I have you know a week off where it's like a little bit off where I want to do something different or switch it up like that would be perfect she also gives many options for the length of the workout and type of workout so you can do like 45 minute dance 45 minute happy sweat I think there's like a 30 minute one and there's like a slow version she puts out a lot of versions of this week which is actually really great and not a lot of influencers or I don't even know if any other influencers who do that so there's definitely something for everyone when you go to her Instagram stories on Sunday night. So I really, really do appreciate that. So whether or not I recommend this, I do because I think that every week is different. So if you are someone who doesn't like doing the same workout over and over again, this is literally perfect for you because she's practically tailoring your fitness level to a workout plan week by week. Obviously, it's not gonna be perfect because she can't really cater to the millions of people who look to her for a fitness plan. But she can get pretty close, so I recommend it. I know it is slightly annoying, especially for someone like me, to have to go to her Instagram every Sunday night to figure out what my workout for the next week is gonna look like, but honestly, after a while, I got used to it and it kind of became just like a ritual. It kind of helped prepped me and it got me excited also. The only con I will say about this workout is that, well, is that a con? I'll share it with you and then you can decide if it's a con for yourself. Because some of her workouts ask you to have equipment, even though you can technically substitute other household items or at least she says you can, for the weights, I do think that some of her workouts, you just need a little bit more of an extensive weight library. Yeah, that's like the only con, but like I said, it's not really a con and if you have been working out for a while at home, incorporating weights will make you become stronger, but also make it more enjoyable. Even though with weights you might not be sweating profusely as if you were doing cardio, it is actually more fun and more engaging for some reason. There is another con, this one's an actual con. I kind of wish she provided like a weight version of her workout plan, so it's mostly weights as opposed to weights slash cardio i know that like when you're doing weights you should still incorporate like a day of cardio or a day or two of cardio but i kind of wanted like a weighted version or like more advanced version you know what i mean so honestly recommend it if you end up doing this workout let me know what you think in the description box or if you have done it let me know but otherwise i will see you next monday for another video bye